Well, do you know you can still get free health care today? <laughs> That's right. You don't have to wait for the next open enrollment program, you know, for Obamacare. You know, if you had a certain income, and it varies from state by state, it could be anywhere from like $16,000 a year for a single to $32,000, $33,000 for a family, you know, a, a four that is. See, and you could go to uh, healthcare.gov, you know, and sign up today and start your health care right away today. You know, you don't have to wait. Now, if you're making more than that, and again, it varies by state, so check on that website to see if you're eligible and you could start getting your health care today, um, that the open enrollment is going to start in October 1st. So that's just a few months away. So And that's when you get subsidies, money, to help you pay for any... Uh, you know any costs that you're going to care for get for health insurance and look at the sats statistics that about, about what obamacare did for people i mean tens of millions of people have now on health care that weren't before look at here uh, this chart here 18 percent of the adults were not had no health care now it's down to 13 percent you know, and that, that's like 10, 20 million people. I mean, that's a lot of people. Yep. You know? And look at by state how many people uh, are now added to having health care. So, I mean, if you have health care, I man, you, you can go get, see, any preventive care is free. You could get a physical for free. You could get stop smoking, you know, medications for free. Anything to make you healthy that is preventive is free. No out-of-pocket, no extra money or anything. So having health care, you know, it, it, is terrific. And, and it's obviously going to, you know, improve your life and make it longer. You know, look at Arkansas. I mean, they dropped their uninsured rate in half. Man, that's amazing. Went from 22% to 12%. Look at Delaware. They had 10% uh, uninsured. They're down to 3%. Only 3% of the population has no health insurance. And this is just, you know, through this year, uh, you know, when Obamacare. And so they're, they're the 10 states that reduced, you know, the number of people that uh, are without insurance. So that population without insurance is getting less and less and less. So that um, those emergency rooms won't be full and you know, you're waiting the last minute. And I know people actually even call me, you know, uh, you know that were waiting to get care because they didn't have health insurance and they had cancer and they couldn't get it and they were off. And, and the poor people actually even died before they even were able to figure out how to get health insurance. So it's very important, you know, I think, and tell your friends about this program if they're not already, you know, uh, uh, signed up for health insurance. Now, there's another site, too, uh, the government has, HRSA, which is Health Resources and Services Administration, part of the department, HHS, Health and Human Services, hrsa.gov slash get health care. You go to that site, so if you don't have health care, you could find other sources, like uh, find a free clinic that's available. You know, find, it's a health finder, and they get affordable health care. They have sliding scale, so if you don't have coverage, you, you, you can get treated there and on a sliding scale business. Also, there's hospitals that have to treat you for free, and this is important too. Like if you owe a bill to a hospital, look at this site. You know. Uh, if, see if that hospital is under the Hill Burton Act, because under that act, what happens? They got money from the government, you know, to improve their hospital, and they, as a result of the getting the money, they have to give free services to people who can't afford. But they don't have a sign at the hospital: "Free services, come and get it." You know, so you have to know about this stuff. So it's a way to uh, get your bill reduced too, or get rid of it entirely if you if you owe bills. So all the other things. You know, you have HIV, AIDS. You're worried about that here. Diseases and conditions. Black lung clinics. Bone marrow uh, transportation donation. Uh, organ donation, traumatic brain injury. These are just the services that are available for free, whether you're insured or not. You know, know about these sources. Vaccine injuries, in injuries, right. Uh, or here, uh, poison control, healthy living guys, or stopbullying.gov. See, this is all part of healthcare. And the government is the largest source of information on healthcare. I mean, your doctor can't keep up on everything. But there's somebody in the government getting paid, you know, probably 100 grand a year to study what condition you have and could tell you what will be in the medical journals next year. That's what's neat about this thing. But the first thing, you have to get covered if you're not covered. So if you're of lower income, you could get covered today. If you're in the next category, and you could, you could get subsidies, and that starts October uh, 
October 1st. So go to health, what is, what is, health healthcare.gov. That's what it is, healthcare.gov.